Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GetMeToGeek.com. Today we're going to bring you some information on FreeNAS. There's some big changes coming in the future, so let's get started on that. Here we go. Okay, first up, FreeNAS is changing its name. Basically what's going on here is that starting with version 12 of FreeNAS, it's now going to be called true nas core if you're not familiar with free nas it's it's a network storage device it's very powerful it's my go-to nas device what ix systems which is the the basically the patreon of the free nas source code has a enterprise product called true nas it originally started out as free nas pro but then they renamed it to true nas Mostly, it sounds like because it was easier to push TrueNAS as a product on corporations and enterprises rather than FreeNAS because of the free in the name. We'll come back. We'll swing back around to that in just a second. What is actually happening here? Let's just go into their, their blog article and take a look. So first of all, they did a video on this. You feel free to check that out. But basically what's happening is that in version 12 now right now we're at 11.3 first of all in free nas in version 12 they're going to merge the two software repositories and, and make one product really it's one product uh, with some extended features for their enterprise so basically what happens right now is that they develop free nas and true nas uh, as two separate products not exactly two separate products. Really, they're, they're, they're maintaining two code bases and uh, that creates complexities and difficulties and slows down the process. They are, I forget what it is, but they're very, very much like, I think it's like 90%, 95%, something like that, the same product as it is stands right now. And so when coming in version 12, they're gonna have one code base and with that code base, they'll probably have basically have two builds, a core, a true NAS core build and a true NAS enterprise. Uh, so the free NAS or true NAS core is going to basically remain the same um, for all of us using free NAS. There shouldn't be any differences. Uh, hopefully that remains true. And here's the beautiful thing is if, if they don't hold up to that, true NAS, free NAS currently is an open source product. So it can be forked. Uh, again, and uh, you know, if they don't maintain being a good patron of the product, uh, I don't have I don't have any fears about that for the most part. I think that they're gonna this, this is going to be a good thing. And one of the good things that they're mentioning here is the uh, they're going to gain rapid development. And, and this is if you worked on any kind of software, maintaining two code bases, the old version. The, your new version and backporting it to an old version, legacy version, is a huge pain in the butt and a lot of work. So having one code base will definitely speed up that process. They don't have to, you know, run their tests on two different products, make sure that they build properly and all that good stuff. So that's 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 a great thing. Um, they're saying that uh, normally it takes nine to twelve months to release a product, and then they're going to look at possibly making that closer to six months. So that's a huge improvement, especially, uh, you know, if, if, if we have the same amount of feature ads in that six month time as you would have had in the nine to 12 month time. So uh, that's a win for everyone. Like I said earlier, the, the QA, the, the testing of the product, that'll, that'll make it easier. It looks like they're gonna, you know, get some hardware improvement. For them, simplification of the documentation, they don't have to maintain two separate documentations, one for TrueNAS, one for FreeNAS. Like, again, duplication and effort. Um, so all of those things are, are great things. Uh, oh, I see here it is, 95% the same source code. So going forward in, in version 12, which I'm guessing is gonna be, so six to 12 months from now, we will probably have version 12. And, and then from that point on, on it'll probably progress quicker hopefully we'll get some improvements in that in their uh, hypervisor stuff 
and some of these other things that, that are kind of lagging behind as far as if you wanted to use it as a server product. Now, the name. For all of us using FreeNAS, it's going to just change the FreeNAS is going to change to True NAS Core. And so everything essentially will be the same and then the enterprise will be a, a True NAS Enterprise. Uh, now, for those of you wanting to test this out, there is a preview of it that will be available available March 11th. That's in uh, pretty pretty darn soon. So basically, uh, right about a, a day or two after you see this video, you can go down and, and you can go and get the uh, preview version and try it out for yourself. And they have a forum and instructions on how to upgrade. Honestly. Unless you're like super into this and want to get, you know, checking out the new stuff, there's no reason to, to, to go ahead and get that preview. Just stick with your free NAS. When the, when the time comes, it'll be an easy upgrade process, just like upgrading your free NAS in the first place. So that's what I recommend for everyone using free NAS currently. And if you're interested in the true NAS product, their enterprise, there are some things that they do like high availability stuff. Uh, so that that that's that's what you get out of that. Now, just so you know, iX Systems sells servers, so if you're looking looking to buy some, you can buy directly from them. What I buy and I bought before is the free NAS minis. They're that's a great product. I recommend it. And here it is. Also, they have this true command which I think is going to be probably more important as they move their product forward basically what this true command is is a single glass pane uh, interface that lets you manage multiple free NAS true NAS in instances and that's something to look into if you have a bunch of free NASs or a bunch of true NAS you can you can go ahead and uh, check that i think that there is definitely a paid version but i think there's actually a free version a lightweight version that lets you do uh, so many um do, 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 do. ah yeah here we go <laughs> i was in the right spot the first one so you can do true command for free to manage up to 50 drives I don't know if that means actual hard drives in the machine or it's 50 uh, VDEVs. It probably means actual 50 drives in a machine. But if you think about it, 50 drives is quite a few. So if you're running a like a FreeNAS Mini, that usually has four drives in it. And then if you have the FreeNAS Mini XL, I think it comes up to eight drives. So it, it's going to take, and the four, you know, you're looking at 10 over 10 or more than 10 free NAS devices that you can manage with this product and still do it for free. I don't know what the pricing is. Uh, we could probably Google it and see what's what it is. But for, for most people that are outside of the enterprise, if you're moving for, to multiple free NAS devices, this might be a, an excellent product to take a look at and so you can uh, manage multiple free NASs on one interface. So that's all I have for today. I look forward to free NASs new name. And the reason why I look forward to free NASs new name is because it will be easier for me to sell my clients on a product named true NAS over a product named free NAS, just because it, it's just the stigma like well why am i why why are you offering me a free product you know so it's it's just kind of how corporations think i think so uh definitely an awesome product i have similar issues when i push pf sense which is a fantastic product and honestly the best firewall out there in my opinion so thanks for joining us we'll see you next time